Android 16 Beta 4 is here, and while it may seem like a minor update, there are some interesting changes under the hood. Let's break down what's new, what's gone, and what it means for your Android experience. Okay, so first up, the long press app menu just got more useful. You can now take a screenshot or select text straight from the recent apps menu. Now added to the app icons, long press options. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So we'll go ahead and swipe up to get to our recent apps menu. And let's just go ahead and find one here. We'll go ahead and use X. So if you go ahead and press on the icon, you'll see now that we have a screenshot option and a select option. So if we go ahead and just select the screenshot, you'll see that it takes a screenshot right there and that will save it to your screenshots folder. Now, if we go back and go ahead and press on select, we can now right from the recent apps menu, select the text that we want. So let me go ahead and press down and we can go ahead and select that text copy, share, or search. So let's just go ahead and copy that. And you'll see down here that it's copied to our clipboard. So that's a new feature that was added to Android 16 beta four. Media player artwork in the notification shade is now darker, blending more seamlessly with dark mode and providing a more polished aesthetic. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and swipe down here and we've got the music player. So this is in dark mode currently. So you can see the album artwork here. If we go ahead and swipe up, let me go ahead and turn on light mode. So now we're in the light theme and let's go ahead and swipe down. You can kind of see that it's a little bit lighter uh, in the album artwork, not much. Um, but that is one of the features that was changed in Android 16 beta four. So surprisingly, the battery health section has been removed in this beta. We're not sure if it's a temporary pull or if something's permanent, but it's gone for now. So in beta three, if we swipe down and we go to our settings and scroll down to battery, we, had, we have the battery health here and you'll see that it no longer has the health info that we had before, which had the charging cycles and so forth. So that is now removed uh, from beta four. So I'm hoping to see that come back because that was nice to see that. We do have the battery usage here, uh, battery share, but battery health no longer shows us that information. So hopefully Google will bring that back because that was nice to have on the Pixel 9 Pro XL. So Google has once again removed the beta badge from the themed icons. If this feels familiar, it's because they've done it before and added it back. So stay tuned. So what I'm talking about here is if we long press on the home screen and we go into the wallpaper and style, you'll see here that the themed icon no longer has the beta badge. Uh, and once again, that has happened and they've added it back. So I guess we'll see what happens with the next release. Also, while we're in here, I noticed that in trying to switch between home screens, your wallpapers, we used to have five options up here and now we can only change between the three most recent used. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's something they're gonna add back. Um, as you can see, we can choose from the last three, but we used to have the option of five in the previous version. So hopefully that's something that Google's gonna put back in the next release. The number five option that has been added is the gesture navigation demo. So they've now added a built-in gesture navigation demo. It's a quick guide showing you how to swipe and navigate. Great for new users or switching from the button navigation. So let me go ahead and show you that. So if we go ahead and go back into our settings, we'll go ahead and go in here and we'll scroll down until we get to, oops, I think I went too far and we'll scroll down to navigation mode 
And so we have this new gesture navigation. So if we go in here, you can do a demo. So we'll try the demo. And this shows you the different options for using the gestures. So it shows you how to go home, how to go back and how to switch apps. So that is a new addition. So you can take a look there, there's the demo. Uh, so that's one of the new features that I found in beta four. So this will be nice for uh, new users once again, or if you're switching from the button navigation. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you think uh, about some of these new features and which is your favorite. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So the next one we're gonna talk about, let me go ahead and get out of this. The next one we're gonna talk about is the apps list shortcut. So the new shortcut to the full apps list has been added. So it's just a small touch, but it's handy for digging into installed apps without having to go through your settings. So to do this, we're gonna go ahead and hold down on the home screen. And we now have this app list. So now we can just click, simply click in there and that will bring up our app drawer instead of the normal way of just swiping up from the bottom of the device. And finally, some AOD or always on display clocks now support dynamic color. Your clock will reflect your wallpapers theme, which adds a slick personalized touch. So as you can see on this clock here, this doesn't have any color to it, but if we go ahead and go in here, let's go ahead and press down. We'll go to customize lock screen and then we'll go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a different clock here. So let's go ahead and try this one. So we'll go ahead and put our phone and you can see that it's actually pulling some of the dynamic color from my wallpaper. So this doesn't work on all clocks. Um, if we go ahead, open this up, let's go ahead, let's just check a couple more clocks. So we've got this one, we've got this one here. And you can see this one doesn't have any dynamic color to it. It's just the black and white. So let's go ahead and check another one. And let's go ahead and try this one here. And this one is black and white. So it looks like we've only found one so far that does it. Let's go ahead and just check a couple more here. And we'll do this one. And this one does have the dynamic color. So it's not available on all of the clocks for the AOD, but it's a new feature nonetheless that has been brought to us by Google with Android 16 beta four. Well, that wraps up the Android 16 beta four changes. While it's not packed with features, it's clear Google is polishing things up before the final release. What do you think about the changes? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up Consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell notification so you're updated when new videos are uploaded. As always, I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you in the next video.